Okay, we have our pump set up here. You can notice we have the pump here. It is submerged. We have the line that comes out and the line that goes up and down. Over here off the corner of the screen, you'll see that we have a twist tie. The twist tie is keeping this intentionally kinked, so that way we have a slower flow right here. Now, whenever I look at this, one thing I'll wanna see is that the water is consistently falling in one space. If it's not, jiggle the hose a little bit, move it around, get it to where you want, and you must make sure it comes down. You don't want something that runs across because you won't get the same effect. You'll notice for our purposes today, we have just a paper towel holder that has some duct tape around it holding this up. Now you can use a variety of things. You can use the cabinet handles, anything up high that you can to swing it down so it comes back down low and it drips down into the water is ideal. So this is our base. Okay, so now I've modified our setup just a little bit. I've taken just a coffee cup and set it right here. You notice it has a little lip on it and that's intentional because I want something for our salt rock to set inside. The water is dripping consistently in one place on this mug. Now we're going to go ahead and set the salt rock on top of this mug. Whenever I set the salt rock on top, you'll notice this is a bigger piece. It does not have to be this big. It just happens to be the piece I have left over. So I'm going to set this right here and I'll adjust my coffee mug so that it's falling roughly in the middle. You can have it off to the side. Um, just do what feels right and it will start working right away. So you're going to let this run for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. By the end of that time period, you'll notice that we will have a lot of salt missing from this area. The water will have pulled that down and away. And the water will also get a little murky. Just make sure to clean this out and run some clean water in the pump whenever you're done. We've just finished with our salt rock investigation. And at this time, what we're going to do is we're going to start dismantling this setup. So we're going to take our salt rock and set it off to the side for right now. So I have a little plate and I'm actually just going to place it on the plate. Okay, now that our salt rock is out of the way, what I'm going to do is I am just going to tip this over, kind of get the rest of the salt off of it. I'll wash this up. What I'll do is I'll dump the water out of this. It is just like table salt, so that's helpful. We can go ahead and just dump it down the drain. What we'll do after this is we will take this pump right over here and I'll put regular fresh water in here. I'm gonna let it run with some fresh water. If you have the ability to put this in a sink and have the sink running with this on one side, and your drain line on the other, then that would be really beneficial because you can constantly keep some fresh water going through it and there's no salt being picked up in it. You'll just want to run it for a few minutes and clean it out.